Melanie here at Syndicate MMA being joined by the one and only, the beloved Mr. Dan Hooker. Now, you are heading back to Abu Dhabi, going to fight Islam, but last time we spoke back in Abu Dhabi, you were watching Vikings, and your friend thought it was Lord of the Rings, so are you still watching that series? Nah, that was the second That was the second time I'd actually watched uh, the whole series. Oh, I got it done in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Oh no, I got it done in uh, quarantine once I got back from Abu Dhabi. So what about this time? What's the next TV series you're watching? Um, man, I've just been busy in Vegas, if yeah. I'm being honest. Like, uh, I've, I usually bring my PlayStation over with me. I've got it there. I haven't even plugged the damn thing in. I've just been so busy training and, and at the PI recovering and doing all of that stuff. So I've just been, yeah, busy with all of that. So it's, uh, it's a good sign when you, when you don't plug the PlayStation in. That means, uh, that means you're, you're well entertained. Absolutely, but when you do plug it in, what is your go-to game? Oh, I just, uh, I got, it's an older game, I got uh, oh, Assassin's Creed, the oh, Valhalla. One, yeah. I'm playing the Vikings one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so obsessed with Vikings. So that's yes, definitely. And I'm looking at your upcoming opponent, Islam. So obviously you fought so many tough opponents and one of them is fighting for the title, Dustin Poirier. So with that being said, where do you rank Islam's skill set compared to some guys that you already fought? Um, I don't know. Like it's just it's just different. Like I would say he's like a really high level guy. It's just he's he's a specialist. There's um there's like a couple of specialists in the in the top fifteen, like a Gregor Gillespie. Um, I would say like Islam and Gregor. Like I would definitely um different different kind of style of wrestling. Um, Islam's is a bit more more folk style um, wrestling. But yeah, like he's he's just a specialist. You, you know what to expect whereas like you look at a guy like Dustin Poirier his skill set is more well-rounded he's like a black belt and then yeah. good, good striker good takedowns um so that's like a it's like a different completely different puzzle to solve but with everybody talking um about Islam and kind of his skill set and also what he brings to the table and even some Habib comparisons when you look at the fights that he's fought so far and his opponents, do you think it's warranted that, you know, he's getting kind of those comparisons and those compliments? I don't want to say no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, like Fair I, enough. I, I, when I when I win I would rather beat yeah, I would rather I would rather beat that that um that guy. I would rather beat yeah. the next Khabib. You know what I mean? There's no point. I gain absolutely nothing from downplaying his skill set. Um as I feel, I kind of think it's silly when um when fighters do it to their opponents, like trying to like downplay their skill set, like Islam was saying it about like RDA, he like called him out and he said, "Oh, you're like an old man and you're washed and you're injured." And it's like, why do you want to fight that guy? Because it's not, um, it's not necessarily a mentality that I understand. Like I want to fight the best guy that I can fight. Like I look at someone and I can like see that, oh man, this guy's this guy's really talented. That. Yeah. Um, that challenges me and that gets me exciting and that that makes me want to fight them like if i watch someone and i thought i could beat them i probably wouldn't even call them out like i wouldn't i wouldn't want to fight them so yeah it's not a mentality i understand well how do you foresee your fight playing out for you uh at ufc 267 um like there's a lot of different ways like it's uh, it's like how long is a piece of string like there's obviously i've um like visualized a, a bunch of different scenarios and I'm like very confident. I'm just confident I'm gonna win. Like uh, I've taken care of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the specifics, but I'm just I'm just know I'm gonna win. Yeah, definitely. And lastly, another big upcoming fight, a rematch between Colby Covington and Kamaru Usman. That goes down in New York, UFC 268. How do you see that one playing out? Um, I feel like it'll play out uh, like the last one when you have two. Like high level wrestlers, they're obviously not gonna, it's too hard to take each other down or they know it uses too much energy. So it kind of turns into a striking match or a kickboxing match. And um, yeah, Usman's just looking better and better. He's working with uh, Trevor Whitman, who's just an absolute um, wizard. So <laughs> yeah, like his striking is looking even better. So I feel, feel like he's gonna put on an even more impressive performance. And for all your fans who can't wait to watch you perform and watch you fight UFC 267, what would you like to let them know? Yeah, they're in for a treat. They're in for a treat. I'm paying good money. <laughs> There's no money back guarantees, but, but I'm confident.